All right, guys, welcome to the video. This is the first time I ever tried to walk with a prosthetic about four years ago. There you go. Look at that. Hi, man. <laughs> As you can see, it was very hard, and you can hear at the end that I was tired just after doing this amount. So, can't wait to show you guys how far I've come. All right, what's up, y'all? It's another vlog here today. Um, I am actually sitting outside of Davidson's Prosthetics here in Puyallup, Washington. Um, this is the guy that does all of my prosthetic work. I've known him for a while now, and just kind of a background if you don't know much about my story. Um, when I first got out of the hospital, I was trying to get a prosthetic to learn to walk again and everything. Insurance and the doctors basically said it was impossible for me to walk, so I had no need for a complicated knee that would help me walk. Um, I said more of a basic one just to help me transfer from you know the wheelchair to the bed or something like that. Um, Greg and I fought for I think almost two years to try to get that prosthetic before it was finally approved But throughout that entire time when I walked live on the TV show for my wedding and I learned how to walk and everything um, That was on a borrowed prosthetic from Greg Davidson that he just gave me and he let me use the first time I ever met him And so that just kind of shows you who Greg is as a person um, I showed up here a couple days ago two days ago now uh, just wanted to stop by say hi and ask him a couple questions about getting a uh, waterproof knee because down in Florida I want to go to the beach and I want to use my pool while walking and it would just make things a lot funner and easier and uh, he gave me a couple options and decided that he was gonna build me a, a leg while I was here and let me go home with it and kind of try it out and just gave me a knee to use for free um, and so just incredible again, and I'm super excited to use it, but we're gonna go check it out here today and see what he came up with. Just a little bit of a background about my knee that I currently have. So it's covered all by carbon fiber. This is a cover underneath. Oh, I see if you can see. You can kind of see there's hydraulics in there. There's a computer in here and there's sensors in the foot. So this actually helps me walk. It stops me from falling a lot of the time because it's got the computer in there and uh, it, it really helps me on a day to day to be able to walk even though I'm paralyzed. And so we're not gonna give that up obviously, but um, this knee will be just strictly for water use. It doesn't have a computer in it, it's just hydraulic based. And uh, yeah, I'll show y'all a little bit about it when we get in there. All right guys, well, we have Mr. Greg Davison here. The guys that have been watching the channel for a while will remember you. <laughs> uh, we're looking for a foot right now, but this is the test socket. So this is basically something he matched up exactly with this leg, the real socket. And then we can use it for now and try it out with the leg and see if it works. You see the leg right there? That's the knee part. And uh, yeah, now we're making, or you're finding a foot. So yeah, that's all hydraulics compared to mine, which is computer and hydraulics. So, uh, oh yeah, cool. Yeah, look at that. And you can see like right here, when he bends it, it bends more like it's, it's closer to the knee because your knee goes right on the base right here. Yeah. So it's not sticking out super far from my leg. Um, which, because this one, as you can see, this one just sticks out really far. Kind of makes it hard. So yeah, we'll see how this one goes, but I'm excited to try walking with it, something new. And, uh, and then jumping in the water, so. But got a water foot right here. Oh, no way. There we go. It looks exactly like the other foot, but... Y'all ever see a, uh, a full bin worth of feet? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, guys. So, yep, here's the walking leg. And this is going to be the water leg. Um, yeah, see if I can get it to bend. Oh yeah, look at that. So my knee's gonna be sitting right here. So when it bends down, it won't be near as far out as this leg that I currently have. That's really cool. It's got two things of hydraulics, one down here to help when you put weight on the heel as I'm walking. It kind of takes the weight and takes the hit off of your knee and your leg. Um, and then up here, obviously the main one that bends down with it so yeah but pretty cool really excited and then 
see this one has the computer inside and when it bends it just bends down ugh, causing it to be a lot farther out so interesting man if only y'all knew how excited i am right now i've been uh i've been wanting something like this for a long time like i can take showers standing up when i want so that i don't know i feel more normal which is just those little things are huge to me these days so uh, you know things like taking a shower and going in the pool and i'll be able to hold my daughter up in the pool now and walk around with her and <sighs> yeah I, as you can tell i'm a little bit happy and i'm uh i'm just i'm very thankful to nathan and greg here and what they do for me and for everyone else so it's pretty cool you can see around all the different things on the walls that all the amputees do some incredible people that go here. So this knee uh, has no ability to, to keep you from falling. You know, there's, there's no resistance here. However, it does have a polycentric linkage uh, where when you put weight through it, it, in, it in allows that cog to flex. And then from this point, I got all my weight on it and it's not bending any further. Mm -hmm. And then as you come over the toe, that, that linkage snaps back snaps back in so that you can go into swing phase cool so awesome. when you walk it'll go compress swing oh that's cool so. Yeah. so still kind of the same motion as what this does just without the computer and stuff and right it just this does is, it this is as sophisticated as it gets um in to mimic uh walking without having a computer deal with that yeah that's uh, awesome. So I'm gonna try walking with it. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Put this well, on. Hopefully this fits. We'll see. Wait, it's a test socket. No, yeah. watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, I can't. Once this falls, like it can pinch your fingers. Oh yeah, okay. There's nothing stopping it. It'll go clang. If you've got your finger in here, you'll regret it. Okay, that's a good point. Because the C leg, it actually holds. And then possibly, you could that. possibly pinch it here too. Okay. So just keep that in mind. More pinching places than the C <laughs> Yeah. All right, we'll go down. Whoa, that's it's so different than that. Yeah, when it so that that is a, a thing to keep in mind when this if you're not living within the parameters of this knee, mm -hmm. um, the it doesn't offer that protection to catch yourself on the way down. It'll just go down. Okay. So so be a lot more careful with it. Right, and so so people that use this knee or. Um, you know, people that, that generally know how to walk. I sometimes will do that with brand new patients. Okay. So right now, so right there, it's not engaging any safety. So it's ready to swing as you're loading over the toe. That's... But now try putting the foot out in front of you. And so you can see. Oh, and it holds. So you see how that holds you. Oh. And then so as long forward. as you're. Yeah. Looks like I might need to rotate it a little bit. Oh, that is now the, different. Right now, there it has a has a real definite heel and toe because of that structure, foot structure. Because so we might want to fill that, that in to make actual walking a little bit easier for you. But you're you're likely not going to be doing a ton of walking. Yeah, it's just well in the pool, yeah, and then just freestanding. Now, so just. So how is the socket fitting? The socket time? feels okay, actually. It's not hitting any of the hot spots on my leg, you know? Like the nerves and everything. Yeah. So it feels pretty good. Yeah, even with full weight on it, there's not anything that's going Do you want that stiffened at all? Uh, the amount uh, that it... For that? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know what it would like, feel is, like. Do you feel like it's caving in, caving into the, uh, into that stance flexion too abruptly? Because we can dial up that bumper to compress it to make it so that it's maybe so I can feel the difference and see which one's easier. So it'll make it a little less safe. Oh, well, in in, in yeah. one sense because um, it it'll take a little more force to get it to go into that safety mode.
It's gonna take me a bit to get used to this, but that's crazy. I can walk with it. It's not computerized and stuff. Um, it's really hard. Uh, so the biggest challenges with this one is it's really hard to sit down because it's not uh, regulated as it goes down, kind of like my C leg, which kind of it helps me sit down and everything um, with the computer in there. This one just free swings, so when I when I sit down, it's kind of like falling down. Um, but other than that, I mean, this should be plenty to go into the pool. So I don't know. I'm freaking out. It's a uh, it's pretty cool. All right, guys. So he's gonna take an impression of that one, just so that when I'm ready to get a uh, full size socket with the carbon fiber and everything, he can just get it done without me sending it up to him from Florida. But I want to show you all the difference when I was talking about sitting down, how hard it is for me with that leg. If you watch, if you watch this leg, my normal leg, um, it actually helps me go down and it's controlled by the hydraulics in the computer so it doesn't go down too fast. So instead of falling, you'll notice. Oh. So see how controlled that was? It's more of a the computer controlling how fast the knee's gonna break so that, that way I can rely on the leg to kind of let me just fall down gently into the seat. Compared to this other one, the one that I'll be using for the pools and stuff, there is no such thing as that. It just, it just breaks, so it's kind of sketchy. But for now, I'm gonna check off and I'll be back tomorrow morning to pick up the leg when he's done doing everything, like the last couple adjustments and stuff, and we'll finish the vlog there. What's up, you guys? It's the next morning and I have the finished leg. Just wanna show y'all real quick to end the vlog off here. Ugh. Here we go. It's kind of taped up. It's not very pretty, but it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be uh, useful and it'll do the trick. So I'm really excited to use this when I get home and practice in the water and see how it goes. You see how the knee though, how much it sticks out compared to how much mine sticks out. So very interesting. We'll see how it goes with this one and maybe it'll help us figure out what my next leg is going to be. But one more time, just very thankful for Mr. Greg Davidson and Nathan, his brother. Um, they did an awesome job with the leg once again. And um, I can't believe I have a waterproof leg. I'm gonna try showering in this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in the pool. I'm gonna go to the beach. So I'm, uh, I'm very excited for the future with this thing and seeing how it works. So um, thank you guys for watching and make sure to check out secondchanceracing.com for any of the t-shirts or stickers that I have and uh, like and subscribe. And thank you. God bless.